Hi everybody, Captain Mark here, and I was sent a question by Miguel. I'm sorry, Miguel, I don't know where in the world you are, uh, but Miguel asked me if a life at sea is something that young people should consider in this day and age. Well, the truth is, Miguel, I can't answer that for you, but I can give you my impressions, I can give you my thoughts and why I came to sea. I first joined my ship, uh, the Samaria, in Bremerhaven in 1979, in the September. I'd never been out of the UK before I flew to join that ship. And um, I remember standing at the bottom of the gangway, looking up. I was in my smart blazer, my company blazer, looking up this ship, and I was really nervous. I had no idea what to expect. Over the following years, I realised I'd made the right choice. I loved the life at sea, and I'm going to tell you why. I don't think there is any other career out there that teaches you so many skills. For a start, you're living in a tin box with crew from all around the world, all races, all creeds, all religions, and you get on with it and you live with them and you learn so much from them. Every crew member has to learn valuable skills like firefighting, medical first aid, uh, various skills that you would never learn in any other job. You know, and as you progress through your career, those skills become more advanced. For instance, a ship at sea, we don't have a fire service. We are our own fire service. We are our own ambulance service. We are our own, uh, we are our own police service. So we have to learn all those skills. As a captain, we do advanced firefighting. So we control uh, a number of fire teams on board. God forbid we ever have to deal with a fire. We have advanced medical training because on cargo ships, there are no doctors and nurses. So you have to cope with anything that comes your way and you learn these skills. So, you know, you do CPR. We, alert, we learn how to give vaccinations, how to um, put sutures in people if they cut themselves badly. But I think the biggest skill of all, uh, or the biggest attribute of all, if you will, is the respect that you gain for your fellow seafarers. You just have to get on. There is no escape. There is no going home in the evening and there's no getting away from people. So you learn. You learn respect and you learn trust of your fellow seafarers. And I, as I say, I don't think there are that many jobs that allow you to do that. Now, whether you go into the navigation department, into technical and engineering, or into the hotel department, every crew member is responsible for the lives of those around them. As a deck officer on the navigation bridge, in my 20s, I was in charge of a multi-million dollar ship with a multi-million dollar cargo. If you think about the largest passenger ships at sea now, you can be on the bridge in your early 20s in charge of a ship worth more than a billion dollars and more than seven or 8,000 lives. Tell me any other industry that does that. Not an airline pilot. I can't think of anybody that has such a responsibility as that. And it gives you such a feeling of empowerment to know that you are capable and trained to do that. I have been to every corner of the planet. I can tell you little bits about Africa and Australia and Asia and Russia and North and South America, the Pacific Islands, the Arctic, the Antarctic. I've been to them all and I've loved and enjoyed every single minute and every single place. I travelled from England to New Zealand on a ship where I met my wife and I've been married 34 years. I couldn't have done that if I'd stayed in a job in the UK. So for me, the answer is absolutely yes to the question as, is it a job for a young person in this day and age? Yes, it is. You will see parts of the planet, you will undergo experiences that no one else ever will. 
and you're going to love every minute of it. Sure, sometimes will be hard when the sea is rough and you're not feeling fantastic, but your friends around you will help you through it. And there are many, many, many more fabulous experiences out there that you can only ever experience um, as a seafarer. So go and do it. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching, Miguel. Um, and I hope that's given you something to think about. Bye now.